Hey, hey guys. guys, we're back in Ipoh and we're here for another food trip. Ipoh is a food heaven and we've barely scratched the surface the last time we came here. So this time we're going to spend the next three days trying more of the best foods that Ipoh has to offer. I can easily go for a few bowls of this. My favourite has to be the siu mai. That is like one of the best chendol I've ever had in Malaysia. Look at the size of the cockles, so huge. Okay, I didn't expect the chili to be so spicy. Mm. Let's get started. Let's go. Alright guys, this is our first stop. We are going to Kedai Kopi Sin Yun Long for breakfast. So I'm going to kickstart our breakfast with the Ipoh white coffee and this white coffee is originated in Ipoh What makes it special is that the beans are roasted with margarine Cheers guys! Oh yeah, that's good coffee Mmm We have toast with eggs <laughs> Look at it, it's so cheeky <laughs> Maybe not too much <laughs> That's a mini fork and spoon, look at that Oh, so cute! Oh. The bread is like slightly buttered. The creamy egg yolk goes very well with the bread. And this is like the roti bengali that they use. It goes very well. Mm. I really like that coffee. We've also ordered a chi chong fan. This chi chong fan is actually from the other store. You can actually order from the other restaurant and they will bring it over here. So I've ordered the original chi chong fan flavour They also have the curry one which Sue will be reviewing that later Well look at that man, they have a lot of these deep fried shallots on top It's drenched with sauce It has these pickled chilies And also some chilli spicy sauce here as well mm. I did not expect that spice There is a kick to it It's overall savoury And the noodles is silky smooth I'm going to try with the pickled chili. This is my first time eating chi chong fan with pickled chili. Oh wow! That pickled chili does add some tanginess and a little bit of the spice. It goes very well. Okay, this is totally recommended. First time trying Ipo version of the chi chong fan. Very nice. Love it. So I myself got the iced white coffee. Let's give it a sip. I really love iced coffee. Just wakes me up instantly and it's really fragrant Okay, I'm gonna try the curry version of the chi chong fan It's different from the basic one Instead of the sauce and the green chilli, it comes with curry and topped with pork skin, fried shallots and the rice shit noodle at the bottom Chi chong fan Pork skin on top mm. Okay, I didn't expect that curry to be spicy too it doesn't look spicy, but when you eat it, the spice just kicks in instantly. And I love how much sesame seeds they have on top. Oh, the pork skin just soaks up a lot of the curry broth in there. It's really spongy. Mmm. A very nice addition to the chi chong fan. It's really good. I'm not sure what's the difference. You want to try? Yeah. Mmm. The normal one is more like a classic version but I would say both are unique in its own way and I actually love both, the normal one and the curry. Both are equally good. There's also another famous Kopitiam right opposite this place, it's called Kopitiam Nam Hyang. It's known for their Ipo white coffee brand that you can find throughout Malaysia. Anyway, we chose this spot because, because of the chi chong fat. Alright, so we're going to finish up over here and we are going to go off to the next place. We're now at our second spot. This place is called Yu Fat Tea Shop. It's been around since 1955 and their specialty here is the dry curry meat, which is exactly what we ordered. We wanted to order the lo mai kai and the egg tea, but we're a little too late. Although it's only 12 p.m., I guess if you want to come for most of the stuff, you should come in the morning. Alright, 
guys, our dry curry mee is here. It is loaded with curry. Of course, there's the yellow mee down there, topped with lots of curry. There's the char siu, and also, I'm not sure if there's chicken. Probably no more chicken also. Alright, let's give this a try. It looks amazing. Look at the curry, it's so thick. Wow, the curry is so rich and creamy. I can see the strands of the... That's definitely lemongrass on it. Oh my god, it's so good. It'll be another go with maybe some of the char siu and... Probably if there's chicken, it would be even better. The curry is very rich with spices. It's very flavorful. We managed to order some fujok. And this is what is left on their trays. Oh, it's curry chop. Oh, curry chop. Ah, thong is better. Okay. Um, guys, I, we managed to ask for some curry soup to go with the bujok. It's soaking up all the curry broth. We'll try one. There you go. Nice and soft. Mm. The curry broth is very flavorful too. Mm. And another thing they have left is the egg tea without the egg. You can also have it as a drink without the egg. Okay, it's, it's not too herbally, but it's very refreshing, very soothing. It's like a pleasant, sweet, slight herbal tea. It's actually perfect after eating not just the spicy, but also rich food. It's not overly spicy, actually. One thing about Ipoh is most of the shops are open in the morning. It's a very breakfast city kind of thing. So for people who are late like us, we might just get whatever that's left. <laughs> So good that about one packet. We are now off to go for a little bit of sightseeing. This is not too far away, about 6 km. Let's go there. Alright, so we are at our next spot. This place is called Ching Sin Ling. It literally translates to Serene Hill. And this place has these ancient China vibes. It has a very nice like an ancient village architecture. And today's a Saturday. There's quite a lot of crowd here. Alright, let's go check it out. There's a lot of people cycling here. Sounds like a tandem bike. The bike is free for use, but just return it once you're done with it. It's quite a nice place to walk around. It's really cute and very colourful too. So this section is the antique section. You can see a lot of these old vintage collections over here. Almost like walking through a little museum. <laughs> that there are little huts around for you to just chill, take a breather because it's really hot outside. There's actually a guinea pig underneath that rock. This place is really picturesque. There's a lot of people cycling, taking photos. It's like every spot is picture worthy. But one thing really beautiful is the mountains. The formation is incredible. These are limestone mountains. You see the groundwater seeping through the rocks. That's how you get these beautiful rock formations. If you're interested to feed the fishes, you can actually buy the fish pellets for one ringgit per pack. Okay, I think it's time for some cool drinks. Good thing they're selling over here. Some ice drink finally. There's literally like antiques every corner of this place. Let's go 
small little lane, nicely paved. And this is like memory lane, they're gonna show like many different mock shops with all the antiques. like we've made it up to the top of the hill and probably this is the end of the park definitely recommend to visit this place it's quite nice to check out I guess that's it for this attraction we're gonna go check in into our hotel let's go so one thing about this place there's quite a number of parking but there's a lot of visitors during the weekend and do note that they are closed on Sundays and also on public holidays. No oh, problem. Woo! Oh, that's nice! Wow! This is nice! It's a really big hotel, there's so many rooms here. Right, we've just checked in. Now let's bring you for a room tour. So we've booked the deluxe queen room. So it comes with a queen size bed. And apparently we are staying at Concubine Lane. <laughs> and this room is spacious. It even comes with a day bed. It has an incredible view. Check this out. This is so cool. You get to see some mountains. It's a very calming kind of view. There's a table here. Mirror and then the TV in front of the bed. There's the mini bar section. It comes with coffee, tea. It has a mini fridge here. It comes with a safe. There's the hairdryer. And a mirror here. There's an ironing board too. And let's check out the bathroom. It's a very nice, clean, modern look. There's a shower. It comes with soap. Towels are provided too. For the price we pay, it's really value for money. There's even a cafe downstairs next to the lobby which looks pretty nice we'll check it out probably later or tomorrow this will be our stay for two nights we're gonna have more eatings after this and we'll see you guys later <laughs> all right it's evening now it's dinner time and we are here in Tong Soi Kai it's 6 30 right now and most of the shops are open so we took a grab over here because there's a limited parking space at the hotel so we didn't want to like go back at night and there's no parking it's literally about five minutes away from the hotel so very near all right guys we're at Hong Sui Kai this is like a dessert street but we're gonna start off with some noodles because we're starving <laughs> we've each got the beef noodles, it comes with some innards and the beef brisket. The small size does look small. <laughs> Hopefully it's enough. And we've also ordered beef box. Yeah, this is the tripe, tinny slice. I'm gonna try the broth first. Oh, it's slightly towards the sweet side. Very tasty, not overly beefy. Okay, let's try the noodles. Cheers guys. Mm. This is so good. Oh, the beef brisket is so tender. The noodles is cooked perfectly and the tripe oh, is so soft and spongy. Oh my god, this is so good. It comes with chili sauce. I'm gonna try some of that. Chili sauce. Let's try this. Mm. Beef ball is really meaty. That's good. Sue was so hungry, she forgot to mention which stall this is. This is stall number 47, it's called Gyeonggi Beef Noodles. And uh, this is one of the many, many shops here in Dong Soi Kai. Let's try this out. There it goes. Oh, the meat is so tender. Somehow it soaks out a lot of that broth, and that broth is just so flavorful. Although it's a light broth. Mm. I could easily go for a few bowls of this. One more. It's so good, I have to order one more. <laughs> the beef balls is like one ringgit each, but they're so meaty, I think it's pretty worth it. I just love the broth, the broth is very special. Mm. One thing to note about the beef noodle shop, they are closed from Sundays to Wednesdays. Alright, so now we're off to find some more to eat. Which is just a few stalls away. 
Alright guys, when in Tong Sui Kai, you definitely have to order Tong Sui, which is dessert soup. I've ordered Lin Chi Gang, also known as Ching Po Leong somehow. And one of my favorite desserts. Sweet and refreshing. And I like how they have that little egg. Mm, refreshing, not too sweet, good for a hot day. Which is basically like every day. <laughs> I've gotten like a mega dessert over here. Uh, literally says ice buah buah han. It's translated to fruit ice and with the ice cream. It looks super colorful. It has tons of fruits. You can see mango, dragon fruit, nuts, some lychee. Yeah, there's longan, watermelon, some purple jelly. So many different fruits here. Underneath all that is a shaved ice. Let's just dig in. Wow. It's like ice kacang with lots of fruits. I don't know if that makes it healthier, but it's definitely a very fun dessert to have. Oh yeah. We've also ordered the cockles. It comes with chili sauce for dipping. This bucket of uh, water with lime in it, I'm guessing is to wash your fingers and your hands, so you can eat it with your hands. And they also come with this bag to throw away the shells. Very thoughtful. I'll just wash my hands. <laughs> It's a lot easier to open up with your fingers anyway. Wow, this siham looks really fresh. I'm gonna do the chili. Oh yeah, so fresh. Literally burst in your mouth. Yum. There you go. I guess that's what it's for. The complete cycle. <laughs> it's a very fun experience. Do you think it's enough? This is the medium size by the way. This is 12 ringgit. I think it's enough for one person. <laughs> Right, so dinner was really satisfying. Tong Soi Kai opens until really late at night, so you guys can come check it out when you are in Ipoh. And that's all we have for day one. We still have two more days ahead of us, but we'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Good night, guys. Good morning, guys. Now we are going to have breakfast, so we're going to have dim sum. Alright guys, so our food has been served. They actually serve using the trolley that has all of the dim sums on it. They have two types, one is the fried one and one is the steamed ones. And we got quite a lot of selection today. I'm going to start with the egg tart. It looks pretty good. Got it to half for us. Let's try this out. Mmm, this is because it's very flaky. And the filling are a little bit sweet, not too sweet. It's very nice. Alright, we got some Nomakai food. They can see quite a lot of uh, ingredients. Let's try this out. Mm. Oh, that mushroom is so juicy. It's nice and moist and it's full of flavors. Oh, so good. So Auntie gave us this interesting one. It's called Yi Mai. I'm not too sure what is it. It looks like fish ball. It comes with the, some green pea inside. I think it's some spring onion. There's some green stuff that looks like chives. Okay, let's give it a try. Mm. Something like fish ball, but it's very bouncy. Lots of fish inside. Mmm. Depends on chewing. Mm. I can go without the chili. The fish itself is naturally sweet. Really good. We also got ourselves some siu mai, which is my favorite. It's like a must have whenever we come for dim sum. So give this a try. Right. The siu mai inside there is very meaty. I think it's pork siu mai inside. And it depends on chili. We have dim sum. We definitely must have tea. We've got the bowl tea. Another thing that looks super interesting is this deep fried yam pastry. They actually serve with this swan. <laughs> it looks like there's quite a mix of ingredients inside. Okay, let's try this out. Mm. There's like a gooey gravy inside there. That's savory and pretty mushroomy. Hakao has two prawns in it. 
It's super fresh, it's plump, it's very springy. So this one is interesting, it has some salted egg in it. It's like soup might be prawn and salted egg. Oh, that's so interesting. I have to try that. It's so nice of the auntie, she gave us this called Kwai Fato, it's a dessert. It's a feeling like you went back hometown and your auntie keeps feeding you. That kind of feeling. Thank you, auntie. <laughs> now, let's try this. So jelly with uh, goji berries with flowers. Let's try. Mm, it's like cold herbal jelly. Very refreshing. We managed to finish most of it. It's a good job to us. <laughs> Alright, so we've just finished our breakfast at Jila Xuan Dim Sum Shop. Service is good, the food is good, and it feels like I just went back home kampung or something. You know, <laughs> auntie was so friendly, not just to us, but to other customers as well. This place is less touristy, but definitely there's a lot of locals coming here. Yeah. So we do recommend this place. Yeah, I'm surprised there's a lot of variety as well. Alright, so we're gonna head to our next spot for More dessert, food? maybe? <laughs> food? Yeah, maybe yeah. dessert. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Alright guys, we are heading to Din City Corner for some jendol. It's just right at the corner. We're walking there. I got myself the BJK, which stands for Pulut Jagong and Kacang. Let's go get like a big scoop of everything. Alright. Mm, so good. It's so soothing and cooling. It's not too sweet, the palm sugar sweetness and it's a little bit coconutty, but overall it's a very refreshing chandel. Oh so good. Mmm. The food is nice and soft and it soaks up a lot of that the coconut milk. I've got the kacang and chandel one. It's just the basic. It's my favorite. Nice. Mmm. Hey, too fast. Brain freeze. <laughs> Very well balanced on the coconut and the sweetness, and oh, it's just so refreshing. Yeah. This place is pretty popular. As you can see, there's a queue, and people keep coming. That is like one of the best chandel I've ever had in Malaysia. Yeah. Alright, so that was a quick stop. We are going to go for a little bit of food shopping around the corner. So this is like my favorite spot to come for shop for biscuits in April. This place is called Mary Biscuits. This is Hyung Tang and they actually give out free samples for you to try. Yeah, this is caramel biscuit. Let's try this. Mmm. Ah, here it is. This is the one. It's called pepper biscuit. It's a little bit spicy and sweet and very crispy. It looks like pomelo is in season now. Maybe we should get one small one and try it out. Got ourselves a cut pomelo. Cut it for you in the shop. And we got a big bag of biscuits. Alright, so we're done with biscuit shopping. We're gonna go get some more stuff. Alright, so this is the famous spot for salted chicken in Nepal. It's called Anking Lim Salted Chicken. Yes. Alright, we're done shopping. We've got all the goods that we want and we're going to show you guys what we all got. We are now back in our hotel unwrapping our salted chicken. <laughs> it's a different kind of unboxing, isn't it? One thing about getting the salted chicken is there is no table there. So you have to tapau, take away. Let's give this a try. Oh, yeah. Oh, the skin is so yellowy, it's just dripping with all the juice. Let's give this a try. Mm. Mm. It's salty, you get the natural sweetness from the chicken. It's also baked with some herbs, so you get that little herbal flavour in the salted chicken. But oh my god, it's so good. It's one of our favourite. We've always tap out back to KL when we visit Ipoh, but this is our first time bringing it back immediately back to the hotel and taste it. So good. I need to give it another go. Mm. <laughs> chicken so juicy, it's so tender. Alright, gotta try the chicken. It looks so good. Mm. It's like it's lightly salted, not too heavy but very aromatic. 
after we can finish the whole chicken in one sitting. <laughs> Another food that is popular here in Ipoh, well not exactly food, is fruit, is the pomelo. We managed to buy a pomelo at the biscuit shop just now and they cut first so that we can show you guys how pomelo looks like. <laughs> It looks like a really huge orange in terms of the form of it. Oh yeah. This is a smaller version of pomelo. There's also the bigger one. It's quite cheap. This one I bought for 13 ringgit. And probably because it's in season right now, it's cheap. There you go. Nice big chunky one. Right, let's try this. Mmm. I always love the natural sweetness of pomelo. It's juicy and has that mild sweetness of the pomelo. There are two types of pomelo. One is the sweet one and another one that is a little bit more sourish. This is the sweet one. The sourish one is reddish, pinkish kind of color. All right, gonna finish this up and we'll see you guys later for dinner. Okay, we're going for dinner. This is our last spot for the day. We're heading to Sanma restaurant for chicken rice. It's a queue. You can see it all the way from outside. Put in a random number and how many packs and they'll call your number when it's ready. Right. Yeah, total wait about 30 to 40 minutes. 30 minutes outside, 30 minutes inside. Oh my god, food looks so good. We ordered quarter chicken each but it definitely looks really huge. One is the normal type and the other one is the kampung chicken. Of course, for a while in April you should order the bean sprouts. You also have the option to order kway teow if you want. I'm gonna try the normal chicken first. Okay, let's try this. The normal chicken tastes pretty good. Like, the, the part I got was a Thai part, it was soft, it was tender. Now let me try the kampung chicken. I love the glossy yellow skin. Kampung chicken is firmer and the skin is tougher than the normal one, which I like. And it's more aromatic than the normal chicken. Now let me try everything. And some chili on top. Mm. Yeah, I didn't expect the chili to be so spicy. I took just a little chili sauce and it's so spicy. Actually, I love the chili sauce. It's like garlic -y. spicy. I love the spice. Hi guys, I realized that the more that I eat, the more I'm loving it. Maybe because it starts to soak more of the sauce in, but it becomes more and more tastier the more I eat it. I would say one thing that's really special in this restaurant is that chili sauce. I can't stop eating it. Even just a little bit of this packs a punch. And it goes really well with garlic rice. The tau looks nice and plump. Really fat target. Mm, that's nice and crunchy target. Nicely seasoned too. It's very sweet of them. They gave us some chicken feet to try. There's a lot of chicken feet actually and we're super stuffed right now. Oh my god, look at that. It's actually one of a popular dish here. It's the braised chicken feet. Let's give this a try. It's really nicely caramelized, the sauce. The chicken feet is definitely braised for a pretty long time. It's really soft. It's a very good addition to the meal itself, a very good side dish. Probably if I didn't order the normal chicken, I would go for the kampung chicken, tauge, and the chicken feet. Yeah. And I always love black sauce, so it's really good. I can see why it's popular. All right, we're going to finish up the rest of the meal. And this is the end of day two. We still have one more day ahead of us, so we'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Good night, guys. Good morning guys, it's day 3 right now and we are going to start our day with some exercise before we start eating. Let's go for a swim. Alright, we're going to go back, wash up and start our day. Okay guys, we are a little bit out of town right now. This is about a 50 minutes drive from the city centre. This place is called Kampong Baru Bercham and we are heading to Lim Chi Nyonya Laksa for breakfast. And then, and I want lunch. Alright, guys, our food has arrived. This is the Nyonya Laksa. We went with Bihun noodles. You actually have a choice to choose what noodles you want. And look at it, guys. Look at the size of the cockles. <laughs> Huge. They're very generous with the amount of cockles they have. They also have the crispy pork belly. 
and we asked her to top up with some octopus. You get to choose how many you want. We went with like two octopuses each. The broth looks nice and curryish. I'm gonna try the broth. Oh, it smells so good. All right, let's go with this. Wow, nice and savory. Little bit coconutty. I just want to go for that cockles right now. Wow, it's so huge. Mmm, got that blood cockles. So fresh and juicy. As you bite into it, it just bursts with all the juice and the pork belly. The skin is still very crispy. I'll try out that octopus now. Quite a big chunk. Mm, has a nice bite into it and definitely matches these noodles very well. Alright guys, my turn to try. Sorry that we're whispering because it's a very peaceful, quiet restaurant. I love how the mihun just soaks up all the broth. It's not too coconutty, so it tastes a lot of the curry in it. Pretty good. Mm. Oh my god, that was so good. The seafood is so fresh. Every bite of it just blows me away. It's so good. We've also ordered some Yong Tao food to go along with our breakfast. So we've got the brinjal. It's one of my favorite. Let's give this a try. Mm. Yeah, that's a good Yong Tao food. The fish filling is quite firm. It's good. Mm. Mm. Overall, I would say that Yong Tao food is worth trying. It's really good. I'll say it's totally worth driving all the way out here to try out their Nyonya Laksa. And now, we're going to head off to the next place. We're at Concubine Lane. Looks like Concubine Lane is pretty happening even on a weekday. We are now in restaurant Tianchun for lunch, just right opposite the Concubine Lane. Alright, I'm ready for lunch. We've ordered the Kai Si Sa Hao Fun. We also ordered Tao Ge at the side, but let me try the noodles first. Let's go for it. And the prawn on top of chili. Cheers, guys! The Hao Fun is so silky and smooth. The chicken is tender and very lovely bowl of noodles. Have some of the soup. ordered a plate of bean sprout to help plump it in. Fresh and crunchy. So good. I also ordered the Yipo white coffee to go along with our meal. Oh, so refreshing. It's like that margarine taste. It's more aromatic than the normal coffee. So good. Another dish that is popular over here is the caramel egg custard like this little bowl of jiggly jelly. Alright, let's try this out. Mm, so smooth. There's a little bit of sweetness on the brown sugar. Not too sweet, but that texture. A little bit eggy and very smooth. Alright, so we've just done with lunch. Now we're going to go off to the next place. Final stop for this food trip, we are at Wonky Bean Curd. There are no tables, we just sit right along the five foot way. There is quite a variety of toppings that you can choose from. And what I got myself is this Taofu Fa with peanuts, sesame rice ball, and ginger sugar. Let's give this a try. Oh, it's very silky smooth. The peanut does give a little bit of crunch and a bit of a smokiness, like roasted peanut kind of flavor. The ginger sugar is a little bit gingery. Very nice. Let's try that rice ball. There's some black sesame fillings in it. So let's try this out. Mm. Oh, it's very nice. There's a little bit of sweetness in there. And the black sesame flavor is pretty rich. So we've got another one which is pretty unique. It has the butterfly pea sugar. It's blue in color. It looks very different. 
And we also had the grass jelly topping on top. It doesn't really taste different that much. There's no flower fragrance in it. What's special about this place is that you get to choose a variety of toppings and there's not much of a queue over here. I would definitely recommend ordering that black sesame rice ball. It's very flavorful and it's very unique. Right before we're about to leave, they've brought out a fresh set of sesame ball and I have to take away the, the tafufa with the blue flower sugar and the sesame ball. Mmm. <laughs> The rice ball is super soft. I really love it. That's it guys for our food trip this round. Overall, we've been very satisfied with all the food that we've tried and even found some memorable ones. So if you have any recommendations, do let us know in the comments below. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you'd like to see more videos like this. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, Bye guys! guys.